I dressed up like this, where are you going? Child, wouldn't you like to know? Look, the outfit, first hat we ever made, so it's kind of rinky dink. Then I have a mask to go with it too. It's nice to be able to sew your own stuff because you can be fashionable, right? You guys, today is Joe, Joe's going to show us how he makes a roast on the stove top. watching the bear pantry show all right so this roast is not like the big hump thing right right it's more of a flat thick right. thing all right so let's take a look at how joe did it because it's done already let's take a look early in the morning 7 52 and Joe is cooking what there? Hmm? What are you cooking? A roast? A roast. So he's browning it first, yeah. right? Right. Then you're going to remove it. You're going to brown it on all sides, right? Right. And we have to say all sides because it's thick. So you're going to keep it to the other side and get the edges too. So what Joe is doing here is remove the beef because it's brown on all sides and he's going to add the chopped onions and cook them until they're tender. He's not going to add the cilantro right away. I would, but he's not going to add the cilantro right away until a little bit later, okay? Onions are looking good, guys. We each time. Good segue. Promote my cookbooks, boo. Everything is not the same. Everything change. Good segue. Promote my cookbook. Books? Books. <laughs> cookbooks. Period. <laughs> I'm plural. Folks, this lady have like 15 cookbooks. The lens is here. Folks, this, this lady got like 15 cookbooks. No, I won't kidding. <laughs> she got about, look at this. Five. Okay. Like five cookbooks, folks. So you could, you got the one that, uh, the bread book you need. Uh-huh. And, uh, what's she doing? I didn't even know. Huh? This is the comprehensive Belizean cookbook that you can get from my website. And then the pantry laid bare is better than restaurant quality meals at home. No more leftovers. This is a small batch of many of the dishes that I've done in the first two books and some extras. The bread book you need is all about bread. And it has pictures, guys. Pictures, see? And then the new Belize book that's being sold at Amazon. 65 of the best recipes from my my first book that I just showed you guys. Okay? Five books. I don't know what Joe talking about. Mmm, I'm working on a cake book. Mmm, gotta take a picture of this cake today. Mm. While my boo is cooking, and he's been doing the most today because he already made chicken for the dogs. See? We even cook for the dogs. That's how much we love them. So you change the, um, Burner, I don't know why this burner cooks faster faster because it's a double burner. Mm -hmm. You know this all up? I'm the one filming and I have to come over here. <laughs> See, I want to eat today, so I gotta put it on the faster burner. Mm -hmm. Why do you put all that on um, the broth from seasoning the meat? Because, because it has to cook, right? You got to cook and the seasoning is in there, all that. Okay. So that's where some people go wrong, right? They tend to put too little water. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want the meat to cook or something. You got to you gotta put the water in it to soften up the, the meat. The beef, uh-huh. If you don't, then you could just you gonna eat it tough. <laughs> tough and dry? Yeah. I mean, the water can cook down. I always remember that. And you're going to add water um, as yes. you need. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And cover it up and just monitor it. Just monitor it as you go by. He added the cilantro when I wasn't looking, so it's already cooked away into the gravy here. Now he's going to add some big chunks of potatoes. You don't have to do that, but we like potatoes on the beef. It's been going for two hours plus. As soon as the potatoes are done cooking, 
then the beef's gonna be ready, okay? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before Joe pours the roast into this thing, I wanna show you guys something. I'm sewing another outfit. This is for my birthday coming up in August, all right? Started early. Three layers or three tiers. I guess tiers is for cake and layers is for clothes, right? Ruffled skirt. Um, I did the cutting. I did all the sewing here to attach the bottom to the middle because I was just sitting in there uh, listening to YouTubers yesterday and so I just like did it by hand and then Joe did the rest by sewing machine so it's kind of long it's like between my calf and my knee right it fits good though and then I'm gonna sew one of my famous up I sew this a lot because I think I look good in it and it's easy to sew the rest of the stuff is hard anyways I'm gonna sew a top out of the same fabric but I'm gonna do bell sleeves look I know you're not here for this. You're here for the food, but food go with clothes. So what I say? Mm. Better see <laughs> look, look, look. Then see look like they're old and dirty. <laughs> John, he does not like bell sleeves, but I'm doing bell sleeves. I'm so proud of myself, guys. And then I'm gonna do a full wrap dress. I have the fabric out there already. Oh, we we making a new wardrobe. Anyways, let me move this off of here before things splatter on it. So um, go ahead, Joe. Grab the beef. Okay, people. It's time to show you guys. Let's what make I sure got. they can what still I see have. everything going on. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think they can see. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see when I put it in? Yeah. So I moved the camera back a little bit, guys. Oops. So we went to a birthday party over the weekend. Over last weekend, I should say, and um, a lot of the people at the birthday party. They knew us from the show. So my friend Sarita invited us to her 60 and sexy birthday party. And um, she had it by the poolside. And um, a lot of her like nieces and cousins and ki her kids, right? And in-laws, they watched. So her daughter-in-law, Catherine, was the one that found me first and then turned me on to Sarita and the rest of them. And um, it was really a pleasure meeting them. It was so much fun because they were truly fans, right Joel? That's what I would say, they're fans. They were truly fans and um, I don't ever get big headed. I'll, I'll play, you know, like, oh my God, give me more, give me more. But I don't ever get big headed. And I don't think I would do so even if I were rich, but I definitely don't get big headed because I pull. <laughs> but they definitely encouraged me because sometimes when you're doing a show for 12 years and it grows so slowly, you're kind of like, oh, why do I do this? Let me find something else to do, right? And they're like, no, don't quit, don't quit. We love what you do. Because of you, we know how to make bun. We know how to make split peas. We know how to make this. So that definitely was very encouraging, right, babe? Mm -hmm. And Sarita was like, you're great to have at a party because nobody has to like entertain you. You're just making the rounds, talking to everybody. That's what I do. That's what I've always done. That's what my mom did. We don't go like, you don't, you're not going to invite me to a party. I'm going to sit there like a stick in the mud and go like, ah, come talk to me, please. No, I'm gonna get up and go, so how are you doing? So who are you, how are you related to Sarita? No. Guess what I won? Tell him the, 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 the game that I won, Joe. You, you're not even listening to me. You focus on this darn meat. What, what, what game did I win? Okay. The one about who knows Sarita best. I'm gonna tell you some of the stuff I guessed. Like when they say her greatest fear was snake, I guessed that one. And some of the stuff I knew, cause I'm nosy, you know, and I pay attention. And I won. I won, yes, 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 I won all, all her best friends, I won. <laughs> I kind of cheated a little bit, let me tell you. There was a question that says, what does she care about most? And if you said children, her children, it would be two points. If you said her grandchildren, you would get five points. Well, I put both. I put children and grandchildren, and I took seven points. There you have it. So anyways, Joe was posing. Wait up the spoon in there, boo. Man, look who he threw that thing in. It's battered. It's bad. No, if I were taking a picture of this, which I have to, for the thumbnail, come pose. This is the thumbnail. Come pose. Pose. You know, I'm always ready when I say pose, and I'm ready with my smile because this is my best side. And he always doing something with his eyes. I'm like, what are you doing? Did you pose? Yeah, pose. Did Did you guys see him pose? Okay, folks. Show. He's like, he's like, sure. I need to eat. Oh, it's soft. I'm not going to eat, but I miss it. What time are you? It's time to eat. It's 11.30. Mm. 
Mm. It's good, people. Mm. It's good. You know, so part you of guys it, could cook us a roast on top of the stove. Wait, it's easy. Wait, part of it is because we're hungry because we're fasting. <laughs> but it is good. Mm. Mm. You mm. want to get lipstick on you? Don't bring my butt. That's what the people said. You guys are like authentic in the kitchen. You guys are just like, we feel like we're there with you. It's because even though the camera's right here, we feel like we have an audience watching us. I'm ready for an audience. I'm ready to be on a TV show. Are you ready to see me on a TV show? I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready. I'm, I'm at that point now where I don't give a damn, so that's how I know I'm ready. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, people. If you like what you saw here today, guys, consider watching one of my other videos right 